all the events are true. It's a story which had got lost. I never uh, knew the story, and I couldn't find anyone else who knew the story except the writer. And uh, it's an extraordinary, wonderful, beautiful story. The themes are close to my heart. One is, uh, if you were asked by your grandchildren which things you were proud to have been around for in your lifetime, one of the things you might reach for would be the liberation of gay men and women in your lifetime, and the other might be the civil rights movement in America. These are great developments which make you obscurely proud to have been around for them. So it involved that, and also the miners' strike in 1984-85 in England was one of the great scandals in recent history and was almost completely misrepresented at the time. So a little bit of the truth and a bit of respect and dignity for these decent men and women of, of the mining community was long uh, overdue and it, was, uh, and it was a beautiful thing. And the fact that these two themes dovetail so incredibly and wonderfully in the story was very satisfying, obviously. I think it, people, it had standing ovations at, at the Cannes Film Festival, the Toronto Film Festival, and the New York Film Festival. People just got to their feet and they chanted mm -hmm. and cheered and clapped. And that moves me, the fact that the story of these, these working men and women in 1984 and these young, this uh, group of gay men and women in Camden Town in London, the story of how they came together and helped one another, that it should bring people to their feet in, uh, in countries all over the world in 2014, I find incredibly uh, moving. And it is a, it's an inspiring story, not least about the fact that prejudice doesn't survive proximity, and that what happens when people meet is that their prejudices dissolve. And this is a beautiful oh. thing.